Victoria, I don't think I won't call you. I know that we've had down times, we fought. But to be honest, you're somebody that I just love. I don't know how tomorrow will be for us. If I hurt you, I'm really sorry. I hold nothing against you in my heart. Nelly, I know that maybe the season is not over it and I said things that maybe I shouldn't have, but I apologize if that hurt you. Aww. And I love you. Thank you for being you, for being so positive. And I learned how I was telling Anita, I was like, I don't think she's somebody that take that takes things to hurt and you just want to be happy and love. And thank you for sharing that with me. I've learned that too. Welcome to Big Brother's Museum, guys. The last wager presentation for the year you guys a round of applause to this housemate they always always came through from the first wager to the very last housemates have shown so much growth amazing talent quality presentation i totally totally enjoyed housemates wager presentation the presentation was basically about you know who the housemates are who they've grown to become, how they've evolved since the beginning of the show, and how their fellow housemates, especially those that have been evicted, have impacted their lives in one way or the other. All the eight finalists gave an amazing presentation, but I'll just focus on a few. First of Wani, Wani finally apologized to Nelly, and it was amazing. Like, even if not me, person vexed like that, and you give me that kind of apology, I would definitely accept it. Guys, Nelly has said some things, you know, not so good things about Nelly in the past, and she felt the need to own up to it and said, I have said some things to you. I have learned from you because of your positive energy and how you always want to be happy. And she said, you know what? I am sorry if I have offended you in any way. That's amazing. It takes serious level of maturity for a lady to apologize to a fellow lady. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. My fellow gender, <laughs> we don't take this lightly. Okay? So, see Wani being honest and pointing out her heart to Nelly was just amazing. She has said some things with Sean concerning Nelly. Anne Buka has reviewed <laughs> some of those things. And I'm really happy that she was able to own up to her. To her flawed. I have said some things about you that are not so good. And I am sorry. And Wani's presentation was amazing. There's never a way Wani will give a presentation without, you know, involving her big age sisters and smooth Sean. <laughs> she said really amazing things about them. Who will ever think that Nelly has had anger issue in the past? Who will ever think of that? I really love how Nelly has embodied herself from the beginning of the show. The way she carried herself with so much positivity. The way she slayed all through. A round of applause to Nelly. Ben and Chinne impacted her positively. Being a travel consultant interacting and connecting with different people around the world i thought it would be easy to bond and connect with other housemates i never knew i was going to struggle victoria's speech was so truly amazing quite emotional she wanted to cry you know when she was giving her speech when she remembered the things her sister you know used to tell her how her sister advised her before coming on the show i love how she talked about how she struggled beginning of the show for a travel consultant that have been to different parts of the world coming on the yeah. show she said she never knew she was going to struggle okay yeah. we're relating with people and trust me a round of applause for victoria our friendship with Cassia is just truly beautiful and amazing. She said she has found a friend and a sister in Cassia. And trust me, that's the same thing Cassia has been saying <laughs> about Victoria outside the house. The friendship is quite mutual. She talked about how Ruthie and DJ Flo has impacted her. I beg, why did Wani make that funny face when... Victoria talked about Ruthie. Because she has issue with Ruthie doesn't mean that Ruthie is not a good person. That doesn't mean she doesn't have any form of goodness in her. Ruthie is a good lady. If not for anything, she was really nice to the house. We always making meal for them. 
cooking for them only a good person wants to do that okay so guys odeka finally apologized to victoria victoria do you think i won't call you i know we have had our downtime you are someone i just love i don't know how tomorrow will be for us if i hurt you i am really sorry guys what do you think about this apology i see a lot of persons saying that oh the apology is fake is fake is fake how do you know apology is fake what did anybody force her to apologize no she decided to apologize because she wanted to apologize fake or not fake she apologized it's not easy for a grown-up adult to apologize let's know like i've forgotten that she spoke about every other housemate and when she got to victoria stone she decided to apologize and people are saying it is fake how do you know it is fake were you in her mind wani apologized to nelly and we're like oh some people are saying that oh she chose to apologize to victoria on the stage and that makes it fake one that chose to apologize to Nelly on the stage and we accepted it as saying, oh, what made it different? <laughs> Guys, let's be honest to ourselves. And Victoria, on the other hand, did not even show any form of emotion or any form of acceptance to it, unlike Nelly. And aside from that, this is not the first time she has been saying that she has a soft spot for Victoria, even though they've had their issues. Victoria and Oyeka were very, very close in the beginning of the show. Like, they were actually very close until the whole OZ thing came up. And then I started to just throw away that connection away because of the issues they have. She felt the need to apologize to Victoria, and she did. Either fake or genuine, she has apologized. So it's left to Victoria to take it or leave it. Someone who has dealt with a lot of presumptions and character assassinations throughout my life, I believe that my experiences here and my journey have not only elevated me and helped me grow, but has changed the narrative. Ozzy has talked about misconception, you know, when it comes to, like, character. He has been judged quite a lot of time. And coming on this show is for him to come and write is wrong and correct the misconception people have about him outside. And he believes he has achieved that. And in my head, I'm like, what? Achieved what? The same Ozzy that will do something and deny it. How have you achieved that misconception people have against you? You know, he talked about character assassination. But so far, so good. He has always been showing that character too. Always wanting to be diplomatic, giving political answers when you ask him, when his fellow housemate asks him questions. He will do a thing and deny it. Take, for example, he has kissed Oyeka like twice in that house and he has denied it. Just the pool party that happened the other day. You saw what happened. But you don't deny him. Toxin. <laughs> so when he's talking about, you know, able to correct the misconception people have about him. My dear brother, I don't think you've made justice to that thing. Show other positive traits like good leadership skill, relating with people. But I see that misconception thing. Oh, guy, you've not cleared it. Or is it how you are moving funny with, between two ladies? Come on now. <laughs> this is my own opinion. I don't think that misconception has been cleared, but Ozzy believes it has been cleared. Also, I really appreciate Kelly Ray for talking about Chingwe and Dami because nobody in the house wanted to choose them. We all know that Kelly Ray is not close to Chingwe, neither is he close to Dami. In fact, he didn't even have you know, much to say about them because it is obvious they are not close. The two persons I'm very sure that Kelly Ray made connection with is Mickey and Zion. Okay, he spoke about Zion, but did not speak about Mickey. You know that there is never a way Kelly Ray will give a speech without talking about his beautiful wife, Cassia. I'm like, okay, guy, <laughs> take it away. So, guys, what do you think about housemates with that presentation and all the apology that went down in my own opinion apology is apology okay and it's left to the person that was apologized to to decide if it is fake or not 